Oh, hey, Internet, didn't see you there. So, uh, I just wanted to say thank you, Andrew Yang, for, you know, showing us a way forward. Um, a lot of people were really discouraged and disassociated with the, the whole voting. And they're like, what's the point? And you got a lot of people hyped and interested in politics again. And that's important. You know, it's it's fairly important that people have some kind of you know horse in the game. So if you guys haven't heard, Andrew dropped out on February 11th. Um, well, dropped out, I guess, suspended his campaign, or whatever. And uh, yeah, that's it. I guess he's a numbers guy. He didn't like the numbers and just, just didn't see a path to the presidency in 2020. Um, fair enough, you know, fair enough. I think, personally, he dropped out a little early. Um, I think waiting for Super Tuesday would have really been a clear indication of, you know, two early states, that's it. And one of them, like, being super um, questionable. So, I don't know. Either way, what's done is done, and we gotta move forward. We gotta, you know, it's not over. What he started is, you know, a movement. He's, people know about UBI now. People understand the concept, uh, you know, and the real threat of automation and artificial intelligence just taking things over. Um, so I don't know. Uh, it's a crappy time. I'm getting two Yag merch shirts uh, in the mail today. So it's like, oh, man, well, <laughs> I guess I can still support them. Like, hey, well, when Trump's, you know, president in 2020 or 2021, I'd be like, oh, well, I, I did my part. <laughs> Try to, you know, stop. Stop it! <laughs> I really don't see any candidates um, being able to beat him at this point. With the policies that everybody's put forward, I don't see any candidate be like, oh, I can definitely defeat Trump. Um, <laughs> a lot of people are you know, getting behind Amy Klobuchar, I really don't understand what she has to offer. Like, I guess I have to read more up on her policies because I don't get it. I don't get, like, what kind of change she would offer. Like, not being Trump isn't going to be enough in 2020. Um, so I was looking at the numbers and the Dems might not like it, but uh, with all the candidates combined, Trump is still pulling in a lot more votes. And that's surprising, because, you know, it's like... Uh, the impeachment thing really put the nail in the coffin. It really ramped up his base and got them active again. It was a real bad move, um, as far as, as far as trying to win this thing. Um, so, whoever the candidate is, whoever the nominee for the Democratic side is, it's going to be an uphill battle. And we can pretty much call it. Like, we don't even need to go invest more money and do all this other just jazz we could pretty much call it right now. Like, yeah, Trump's going to get another four more years because of really bad strategy on the DNC's part. Um, I understand that they want to make a statement, like impeachment, all that, yada, yada. But you probably should have waited until he got 
until after the election. Doing it right before. Um, I, re- I think really hurt any chance of seeing that guy out of office. Either way, you know, it is what it is. And, uh, you know, and for everybody that's feeling sad and blue about Yang dropping out, you know, I I was feeling sad. I, you know, did my fair share of sobbing and weeping, <laughs> you know, because I really thought that his platform, uh, you know, I, I was witnessing it pulling America back together. And I don't see any other candidate that can do that. You know, I don't see any other way forward for these candidates. But, uh, and for America. Man, these people are dumb. That guy almost got me. (laughs) Anywho, it's, uh, well, peace out. Um, you know, keep your heads up. You know, people are saying 2024. I don't know as much. Like, if you decided to run Republican, I could see that working out. The RNC is a little <laughs> dust midget and less corrupt than the DNC. But either way, it looks like we're stuck for Trump with another four years. Um, you know, Bernie, I hope he is the nominee. Because he's probably the best suited to at least <laughs> not make it a landslide, but you know that's not gonna that's not gonna get him the nomination. He's way too far left to bring the country together. So either hoots, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. So stay tuned. You know, Yang Gang, they're, they're, I'm pretty sure that one of these candidates are probably going to try to get him as VP or some, something. Something's going down like that. But uh, we'll see. Maybe not. Maybe it'll just kick back and just wait it out. Uh, maybe he's already seen the, the, white, the writing on the wall as well. Um, as far as the numbers go, like... The first two turnouts, it's not looking good for the Democratic Party. But we'll see after Super Tuesday. That'll be a real indication of the numbers that are showing up. Because they're showing up to vote Trump into a primary where his toughest competition is, like, these three dudes that are unknown of. Like, and I guess one of them dropped out. So two, good, two dudes that are totally unknown of. One of them got 8% in New Hampshire, though, so that's, that's interesting. Like, some of the Republicans were like, wow! <laughs> we still have some never-Trumpers in there. So that's interesting. Um, Bill Walsh, or... I don't, I don't remember the Republicans' names. But, uh, either who it's... Um, yeah. You just gotta be your own president, you know? Don't... Don't look for government and, you know, these these leaders to fix things. And you're like, what? Yeah, like, do it yourself. Um, direct action is what I recommend. If you see a problem, try to fix it. You know, if, it, if capable, you know, if you can, why not? Yeah, I guess that's about it. All right, sorry for blabbing and carrying on. Um, If you guys need to talk, my DMs are open. I'm easy to contact. Uh, Yeah, that's about it. All right, peace.